What's better than quarterly paying dividend stocks? Monthly paying dividend stocks. What's better than monthly paying dividend stocks? Getting paid every single week. That's right. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you could get paid in dividends every single week. Now, there's no such thing as a weekly paying dividend stocks. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys four different, whether ETFs, REITs, or other monthly dividend stocks that you can invest in around four, four and a half. Let's call it four and a bonus to help you achieve getting paid dividends every single week. Now, if you guys don't know what dividend stocks are, if you guys don't know what dividend is, dividends is by far the easiest passive form of income that is. You just invest into these certain stocks that pay out dividends as a form to saying, hey, thank you for investing inside our company we're going to give you a little kickback in return and they pay back their investors me and you in the form of dividends every single month now most companies that are individual companies are quarterly paying dividend stocks but there are certain etfs out there that pay their dividends every single month so if you line it up correctly and pick the correct four monthly paying dividend stocks you could get paid on the first week second week third week in the fourth week of every single month that is by far the easiest way to live is by getting four paid checks in a month by getting paid four times a month rather than just getting paid one time a month so if you're bad at managing money getting one lump sum of money um, per month and you're gonna go spend it all the time try to even it out getting four different paychecks a month or every single week now these mix of four there's gonna be real estate REITs and then there's gonna be ETFs I'm gonna explain to you exactly what those are in this video so make sure you hit the thumbs up button like and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell I think hitting that notification bell is more important than anything that you guys could do and also leave a comment down below if you like this plan but before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Sign up using the link down in the description. You sign up, you can get up to 12 free stocks of the Big 12 using my special link down in the description. I think with my special link, you can get up to 15 free stocks. Um, sign up, deposit $100, use that. I'm going to also leave a link in the description to Weeble. Sign up with Weeble, deposit any amount of money, and you can receive up to 20 free fractional shares. Guys, this is by far the easiest way to boost your account and to get started inside the stock market. Even if you already got Weeble, sign up with Moomoo. If you already got Moomoo, sign up with Weeble. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity with those links down in the description. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. The first stack that's going to pay us out in week one, pays out on the 7th, is ticker symbol PFF. Now, PFF is an ETF. The ETF is an exchange trader fund. This is a company that owns many different types of stocks and companies inside of that portfolio to give you a broader range to help you diversify your portfolio just by investing inside of one stock. So the first one is PFF. It was kind of hard to find one for week one of this challenge. It's not the best one out there, but over the last um, couple of years, you would have made money over the last couple of years. Now, PFF, um, if you take a look at their holdings, they invest inside perpetual different funds and they have over 440 different holdings. So you are um, diverse. It's usually in utilities. They have some in healthcare, and then they have some in corporate bonds, which help them get a pretty good dividend yield. So if we do take a look at their dividends down here, um, you can see that they have a 6.3% dividend yield. That is the highest on this list to have a 6.3% dividend yield but if we take a look at their summary over the last couple of years this year they had a pretty good year up two percent on top of that six percent dividend yield so that's going to come out to around eight percent but over the last five years they're down 13 percent but if we look at um the six percent dividend yield over the last five years five times six that's going to be 30 so 30 minus 13 that's will be your profit so you will be in profit from over the last five years in dividends from investing inside PFF, but the company did not grow. It actually went down 13% over the last five years. So even though you are making passive income and you did come out profitable over the last five years, you kind of want your companies to grow over time along with their dividends. Because if we take a look at their dividends again, once right here, their dividend growth is zero years. That means they have not been increasing their dividends every single year. And that's what I look for in company. But unfortunately, there are not too many companies that pay out week one of this challenge, but this is the probably the best I could find. Comment down below if I just completely having a brain freeze right now and missed the best week one company comment that down below on what 
um, dividend stock or what dividend ETF that pays out the first week of the month to help us achieve this challenge with a little bit of a better stock to help us kick off the month. So let's go over to week two. And week two that pays out the, on the 14th, the second week of the month is gonna be ticker symbol O, Realty Income. This is known as the monthly paying dividend stock. This is called a real estate REIT. Real estate REITs usually have a higher dividend yield and they're required by law to pay back their investors 90% of their taxable income in the form of dividends. That's where the real estate REIT is. So remember we got ETFs, then we got real estate REIT. This one is a real estate REIT that also pays out monthly. Now they do have a 5.91% dividend yield, which is completely insane. And I actually have them inside my portfolio. Let me put that up right quick. But over the last year, they're down 12%. So we could be getting them at a steal over the last five years. They're down 24%. But over the last 10 years, they are up 25%. Let me pull up ticker symbol O on my portfolio right quick. All right, here we are inside my Robinhood account. This is ticker symbol O. Unfortunately, I did buy a lot of ticker symbol O at an all-time high when I should have been dollar cost averaging. I have 10 shares and I'm down 16%, um, down $114. But if we take a look at my dividend payment, um, I want to go to show more, all types. Let's hit dividends right there. You, as you guys can see, just like clockwork, they're going to pay me out $2.49 for a very long time. All the way since 2019, they've been paying me out around $2 every single month. So hopefully, um, if you do the math, it adds up to me being around even. And then I expect ticker symbol O to recover in the future. I probably need to pick up a couple of more shares at this price point in order for me to have a even better rebound. Now, the reason that I am going to continue to buy ticker symbol O is because of the dividend growth. They have 26 years of dividend growth. That means every single year for the last 26 years. In fact, that makes them dividend aristocrats. Dividend aristocrats are any company that's inside the S&P 500 and has increased their dividends every single year for the last 25 years. So I don't see ticker symbol O anytime soon have been risk of cutting their dividends, especially once they finally became dividend aristocrats. Um, it makes them look like a very prestige company. In fact, next year, I expect them to also increase their dividends to from 26 years to 27 years, increasing my dividend yields, hopefully to 5.9 to 5.98%, making me even more money in the future. So let's move over to week three. All right, week three that's gonna pay us out on the 15th is ticker symbol STAG, STAG, which is also a real estate REIT company. If we take a look at their summary right here, over the last year, they're down 3%. Over the last five years, they're up 14%. And over the last 10 years, they're up 46%. That's what we like to see in these companies. And if we look at their summary, I absolutely love Stag. Stag, um, they invest inside industrial properties. In fact, they own over 569 buildings in 41 states. And from 2023, December 2023, and from to December 31st, 2023, approximately 98% of their buildings are occupied and no more than any one company hold 2.9%. So if one company decides to leave one of their buildings as a tenant, only 2.9% of that's gone. And then they're going to replace that very quickly with another tenant. So with 98% of their buildings, of their industrial buildings being uh, occupied, that is a company that I would love to invest into for week three. If we take a look at their dividends, they have 11 year dividend growth with a 4.2 percent dividend yield which is which is completely insane i absolutely love stag i really need to buy more shares of stag now let me show you guys another company that pays out on week three which is agnc now i do own a little bit of agnc agnc but take a look at this guys if you do want to have a little bit more risk agnc pays out on the um 11th i think it says 11, but in my portfolio that pays out around on the 14th, um, AGNC has a 14.9% dividend yield. Remember, the bigger the yield, the more you're going to get paid. So a 14% dividend yield every single year for the last couple of years is insane. But the only thing is over the last year, they're down 1.2%. In the last five years, they're down 42%. But remember, you have a 14% dividend yield. Let me show you guys. I have a little bit of agency on my on, inside my portfolio. So let me show you guys how that's working out. Now, here we are on agency. I hold 119 shares. I'm down 30%, $577. But if we take a look down here. Let's go to my dividend payout. We're going to hit show more. 
hit dividends. And as you guys can see, we scroll all the way down. I've been getting paid out $14.28 for the last couple of years, all the way from 2019. So if we do a little quick calculator math, that's around 60 months times $14. That's $840. So I am a little bit in profit, even though the, the value of the company is down $577. This is uh, the risk factor that you guys need to think about before you start to invest inside these companies. Now, I wanted to show you guys AGNC because they have a 14% dividend yield and Stack has a 4% dividend yield. And a lot of people are gonna immediately run to the 14% dividend yield because it has a higher yield. But Stag is by far the better company even with a 4% dividend yield. So if you invest inside companies with such a high dividend yield, they don't have any money left inside of their bank account to reinvest back inside the company in order to grow that company. Now, Stag has a decent dividend yield, has the lowest on this list with 4%, but their valuation of the company goes up the most over time because they're a well-ran company with a good dividend yield that is not at risk of being cut. Now, the last one on this list is either gonna be two that I'm gonna give you guys. It's gonna be SPHD or PEY. Now, SPHD, I own SPHD. Um, that is also an ETF that holds many different companies inside of their portfolio. If we take a look at their holdings right here, um, this is their top 10 in their holdings. They have Altria, AT&T, Verizon, um, Williams Company, Philip Morris, Pfizer. They have companies that have dividends inside of their portfolio. It's a high dividend, low volatile um, ETF. So we take a look at their dividend yield. They have a 4.19% dividend yield with two years of growth. Now, this one pays out week four on the 24th. And if you guys wanted to take a look at another one would be PEY, my favorite on this list. This is also an ETF, high dividend uh, achievers. If we take a look at their holdings, of course, they got Altria, Philip Morris. They, they kind of have the same thing, but they don't have the same thing. They have 52 different companies that pay dividends inside their portfolio. But if you take a look at PEY dividend, they have a 10 year dividend growth with a 5.08% dividend yield. Now, let me pull up both of those inside of my Robinhood account. All right, here we are on PEY. If we scroll down, you guys can see I'm up 20%. I have 102 shares. I'm up 20%, $379. So I'm up. Finally, I'm up positive on one of these dividend challenges. And we scroll all the way down to the bottom. You guys can see that I'm getting paid out on the 24th every single month uh, around $8.52. And I'm reinvesting my profits back into uh, PEY. So whenever my dividends pay me out, I take that $8, reinvest it right back into PEY to give me half a share. So um, eventually, the dividends is going to be able to pay for its shares itself. And once again, if we scroll down, you guys could probably see all of my dividends. We could scroll all the way down to the bottom, all the way from 2020 to 2024. I've been reinvesting my dividends, getting more and more and more every single month. And in fact, one month they pay me out $9. And last month they pay me out $8.52. And if we take a look at SPHD, SPHD, uh, we could scroll down. I'm up 10%, $142. And the same thing, I've been investing inside of them since 2022. Should have brought more shares. I didn't have too much money in 2022. I've been investing inside of them since 2020 and should have brought more shares didn't have much money back in 2020 just like most people because of what the world went through but uh, i did pick up 31 shares which is worth a thousand four hundred and thirty six dollars and puts me in profit and i'm making around how much each month around four dollars and fifty cents every single month for my dividends then i reinvest those so with sphd and pey you could pick between the two you could do your own research but that is going to pay you out in week four so if you stick to those four guys um pff ticker symbol o um, Stag and PEY, that is going to be an average dividend yield of 5.37%, which is completely insane. Just imagine getting paid out week one, week two, week three, week four, and then it's going to average out to 5% of your portfolio in dividends every single month. And then it's going to average out over the year to be 5% of your dividends. That is completely insane to wake up every single week and have a check deposited straight inside of your account. That is the power of dividends. You, do, you don't do anything at all, but wake up and then boop. Notification on your phone, hey, you've been paying the dividends by STAG or you've been paying the dividends by PEY straight to your phone, just like that, straight to your account. So that is the amazing part of dividend yield. Let me know down in the comment section which four would you choose? Would you change up anything? Would you go with a completely different lineup or would you just, just pick one stock and live off of just one dividend payment a month? 
other than having one dividend payment a week from four different companies. Let me know if you would just choose one from this list or choose all four. If you would like to mix it up any other way, let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, guys, don't forget to check out those links down in the description to Moomoo, Moo, sign up, deposit $100, get those free stocks to the Big 12. I'm telling you guys that that's one of the best opportunities that they gave me to offer you guys by a long shot. Take, please take advantage of that opportunity. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the pinned comment section to my free dividend um, mastering dividends ebook it's a completely free you just sign up um, enter your email and then i'll send you my mastering dividends it's a pdf that teach you everything about dividends that i can't explain in the video that you need to know so go ahead and check that out that's going to be in the pinned comment section but in that dreamers make sure you hit the subscribe button hit that thumbs up button and please 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 if you already subscribed hit that notification bell that helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine but other than that i'm zeke Bring you the Dream Green Show. I'm out. Peace.